Samsung's flagship are considered top-of-the-line phones with high performance and functions. But they have been quite criticized due to the use of two different types of processors for certain markets. That is, you could have an S22 equipped with a Snapdragon or an S22 equipped with an Exynos, which offered performance differences. This was the greatest displeasure of Samsung fans. Let's see how Samsung ended up using different processors for different markets. There are several reasons. The first reference to the agreement between Samsung and Qualcomm concluded in 2009, in which the two companies practically shared their world. Qualcomm owned several key patents that Samsung wanted to use, and Samsung had some patents that Qualcomm wanted to use. Thus, Samsung paid $1.3 billion to Qualcomm to balance the balance sheet, resulting in Samsung using Qualcomm chipsets only in certain key markets, such as the US. In 2018, the two companies renegotiated the terms of the agreement and extended the strategic partnership in order to collaborate on the development of 5G equipment. Another reason why Samsung uses two types of processors is related to maintaining the price of phones in different regions. Samsung manufactures its phone in Vietnam or South Korea, where Samsung pays a single export tax. However, import tax differs from one country to another. For example, the US has 0% import tax, while India has a 20% import tax. In this case, Samsung is forced to reduce the production cost of the phone for countries with high import tax. For this reason, in some regions such as Europe or India, Samsung phones come equipped with only Exynos. Another reason that explains this dilemma created by Samsung is related to the diversification of the processor supply chain, according to the agreement with Qualcomm. Thus, in case of delays by some suppliers, Samsung calls on other suppliers in order not to stop the production of the phones. For this reason, Samsung continues to produce and improve the Exynos processor, so as not to depend on other suppliers. Is Snapdragon better than Exynos? Many benchmark tests show very close results between the two processors. Perhaps the biggest disadvantage of Exynos is related to its overheating, which over time affects the phone's battery. Thus, Samsung made the decision to give up the Exynos processors for the new Galaxy S23 series. Under the Exynos processors can easily equal those from Qualcomm. This requires time, patience, and appropriate investments.